Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Alder Seal, of course, and uh, I hope you guys like uh, case opening videos. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, look at this. God diggity damn. You know what that is? That is 101 keys and 101 uh, cases, if I haven't miscalculated anywhere. One Phoenix case and one Phoenix key. 100 winter offensive cases and 100 keys. Uh, I have spent like 240 euros on this. So I really hope you guys like these kinds of videos, because this is nothing donated. I don't like getting stuff donated to me, uh, like, that's, that's just how I work as a person. So I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. I'm gonna give something away, one or two of the items I get uh, during this case opening. I'm gonna decide what I give away in the end of the video, since honestly I have no clue what the hell I'm gonna get, so on. Uh, but hopefully something good. And so, make sure you like, favorite, comment, and share the video. If you do, you automatically enter to get stuff, basically. So, I'm gonna just pick one of the comments randomly uh, the next couple of days, like in two days, I think, and uh, give away the stuff simply. So let's see what the hell we get, and so I know what the hell to give away. It's gonna be damn interesting to see. <laughs> I've opened about 50 boxes before this. Oh, are you kidding me? It's so close. Oh. <laughs> Why? I was so close to stats track as in of. Oh my god. Ah, 5-7 Kami stats track. I mean, it's crappy, but at least it's stats track, so I mean, it makes it worth something. And by the way, I'm still... Uh, my throat is still extremely bad. I'm gonna go to my parents' place this weekend, so uh, there's probably gonna be very little videos again for like one or two days. I'm gonna eat Smurgos Torta there and have a really good time. My mom is missing me and my brother. She was so worried when we were uh, went uh, abroad. Oh, fucking hell, this is just bullshit. Just crap. But the good thing is, since all these uh, cases are the same, I can always use the, the contract later on to, to make them into other stuff. Or I can just sell the stuff one by one. Oh, a purple at least, that's good. Uh, the purple stuff you can of course upgrade to, to a little bit better stuff later on. So even if it's a crappy weapon you don't really want, like the dual Berettas or the Rose Iron or Nova or whatever, uh, this is really what you want. Sort of? Yeah, maybe that too. Mahindi almost. Ah, oh, man. God damn it. Ah, yeah, there's lots of lots of yeah, cases left, so it should be okay. I hope this doesn't take too Oh, no. Oh, good stuff. It was so close. Come on. But yeah, since I've opened so many cases already, I think the, the chance of getting a knife is 1 in 200, and I've opened about 50 to 100 cases already. So I, statistically speaking, I should have a pretty good chance of getting one key in these 100 boxes. But really, I might not even get anything good. The best thing I might get is like a Nova Rising Skull, who knows. Uh, but that, that's, that's the fun thing with this. God damn, it feels like such a huge waste of money. Oh god. <laughs> oh, stats track. No, I not even get the stats track. Oh, shice. God damn it. Come on now, baby. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hopefully something good. Oh, nope. It's gonna be a PP Bison Cobalt Half Tone. Half Tone. I thought it was gonna be like a weird name, but it wasn't. It was just me pronouncing it strangely. Half Torn. Half Torn. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's that's nice. Stats track at least. So that's worth a little bit. Instead of being worth like 10 cents, it's worth like 1 euro. <laughs> or maybe half a euro. <laughs> Oh man, this is so much bullshit. Like every single case I open, that's two and a half euros down the drain. So really, to be honest with you guys, if you really want one kind of weapon, it's better you actually buy it. Like literally straight out buy it from the marketplace, because that is cheaper than trying to make it with uh, uh, with getting a, it in a case or, for example, making it with the contract. It's always cheaper to buy stuff. Like, for example, a nice knife or that kind of stuff on the marketplace than actually buying different kinds of uh, boxes. Just so you guys know. Like, that's literally a pro tip. Trust me, I've, I've done the math. 
So you're always gonna be better off just buying it straight up, especially if it's a specific weapon you want. Uh, if you just want a nice weapon, just check out the marketplace and buy whatever, like, catches your eye, so to say. Oh man, magma. I haven't gotten many of these though now. Mostly bisons, actually. Last time I opened these uh, cases, I think I opened like 50 off camera, just by myself, because fuck it, I wanted nice weapons. I was sick of having like crappy weapons. <laughs> I wanted some nice skins, and uh, I ended, I mean like fuck, what's that? That's like 150 euros, and if I just would have bought the weapons, like the Mihindi, Op Redline, and the, the other, the Asinov, I would have paid like maybe 50 euros for that instead of 150, as I did when opening the cases. So yeah, like I said, it's way better to just buy the things than opening cases or trading and that kind of stuff. Sometimes you might be able to trade a decent weapon you have for a little bit better weapon if someone absolutely wants the other one, but that's not gonna come around that often. I mean, like, if someone ever, all, like, says, hey, dude, trade me your knife for my knife, I mean, don't do it. <laughs> Unless you, you sure you can trust the person. There's some security measures and stuff when it comes to the trading system in, in uh, Construct Go or in Steam, but uh, you should always be careful anyways. That's, that's at least what I say. Holy shit, we are not getting lucky here. God damn it, I don't even know how many we... I think we're going through maybe 20 soon. Like one-fifth. Not good. Not good at all. At least we get some pink stuff or, or purple, I mean. That's good, so we can trade it in. Really, also, uh, it's it's better to sell it and buy new cases, or sell it and buy the thing you want, than actually trading the things in as well, just so you know. Uh, I tried it out, and, and it's it's not exactly worth the money to, to trade stuff in. So, yeah. <laughs> Even that is kind of crappy. Uh, or I guess it's worth trading it in if you know what you want. Because if you trade in, for example, what is it, 8 Novas, uh, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get a Guardian, a Mihindi, or an Op. Uh, then if you trade in 8 of those, you're gonna get a M4 or a Sword Off, and if you trade in 8 of those, you are gonna get a Rare Knife. So, yeah. <laughs> and those can actually be stats track or, or that kind of stuff. All depends on how lucky you are. It's kind of like case opening that as well when you trade stuff in. Kind of, kind of shitty. Oh my god, I am not getting lucky here. We have not got anything good whatsoever here, I think, so far. I mean, an M4A1 or a Mihindi or an AWP would be pretty sweet to get. Like, stats track. I got a, I got the Mihindi stats track, that I'm quite happy with, but... The rest, I don't really have anything. A Asinov I do have, so... That would also be sweet stats track. Oh, no! Ah, oh, yeah, it's like the stats track. <laughs> you can't use the... The contract, though, to trade in stats track things, I believe. Not sure, though. No, no, I'm pretty sure you can't use those in the contract. You gotta sell those. But those sell so good anyways. So you can sell that and buy, like, three of the normal kind, usually. Stats track weapons usually are twice or three times the, the, the price of the normal weapon. Oh, that was an Asin, Asinov. A Asimov. Asimov. I always say Asinov. Kind of... Dude, weirdly. Oh, man. Come on, now. Come on now, you can do it. Come on, something nice for once. I haven't even seen a knife. I've seen like one Asimov, I've seen like the Kraken, and I've seen a couple of Ops and that kind of stuff, but uh, I haven't even seen a knife. I don't think I've ever seen a knife when I opened this one, one crate. Not even like going past or being close to getting it. Never. Oh man, this is crappy. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you guys some stories. So, we went past, uh, <laughs> we, when we were in Las Palmas on the Canary Islands, we went past uh, uh, the gay beach. Oh wait, I think I, I already told, them, told you guys about that, didn't I? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But on the way to the beach, there were these women, uh, women that uh, they actually warned us before we, we got there. They, they warned us at the hotel about them and they called them... What was it? Nigereser or some shit like that. Basically, b black women from Africa. And uh, they, they weren't... Oh! Oh! Not too bad. I mean, a red line would have been nicer, but that is a really sweet thing. Shut the fuck up, man. That's nice. Kraken. 
a mythical beast that was uh, the bane of the Vikings outside of Norway. That's sweet. Okay, first good thing. That's that's awesome, actually. Got a lot of good stuff that was close to, to getting there. That was not too bad. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, this, these Negresses, we were warned that they were gonna gonna come come forward and like give us something for free, they say first, and then they want to take the money from you. And if you're unlucky, it's gonna be even worse. And that's exactly what happened to, to my three friends. Uh, they went up to my three friends and said, Oh, hey, you want nice necklace? Uh, pretty, pretty guys. Pretty guys want necklace, right? For free, no charge. And what they did is, instead of giving them a necklace, they actually got armbands and they grabbed my friend's hands and surrounded them like literally six of these people and three of my friends and they were as I was told they were really fucking fat and were wearing some weird clothes like almost uh, like like big fat ass dresses like for fat women literally like uh, oh god I, I don't remember what the hell it's called but um, yeah but, but, not not nice women no. and they grabbed their hands and the others at the, whilst they were grabbing their hands and the, putting the necklace on, on or the, the bracelet the others tried to grab their phone and wallet and shit uh, from the pocket so my friends just pushed them off and said motherfuckers go away pull it side pull it side and then the next day we see those fucking women standing in the same spot as they they stopped my friends and they're on like a they're trying to like rob an old couple like doing the same thing with them but a little bit nicer they don't need to like hold them as much because they're like oblivious so we like polizai polizai or policia policia or whatever you call it in in spanish and they're like oh no polizai no polizai and like started walking away and the tourists didn't really get what was happening the, the old man was just looking at us weirdly and like what what are those hoodlums doing? Like almost like we did something wrong. I don't think they realized that they literally were being robbed right there at the spot because like shit, I mean I get that they probably come from a pretty shitty place and probably it's it's like a deal where maybe some I wouldn't say maybe kidnappers, but like people bring them to, to this tourist attraction islands and, and kind of force them to do this kind of stuff. But but still, it makes me sick to my stomach that people behave like that. It was just horrible. And then, then we had... This wasn't that bad. These people were definitely not um, like criminals or anything like that. But they, they were selling like really fucking fake watches and, and, and belts and, and sunglasses and shit. Uh, really nice, like like black guys from from Africa. Uh, I, I was I, I don't really know which country, but um, I spoke really well English. But but the thing, the problem with them was that like whenever you sat at a restaurant, they would come into the restaurant and like st st stand right next to you and like, hey, you want sunglasses? Your sunglasses? Uh, and like that isn't the problem is if one of them do it, but literally during 20 minutes while we were eating pizza at the beach 12 of those guys passed us and all asked us if we wanted to buy stuff And the funny thing is that I actually dropped my sunglasses in the taxi the day before so I actually bought sunglasses from one of the guys Not that came up to us. Ooh, oh, that was close to a red line. Damn it. Uh, not one of the guys that came up to us when we were at the table eating because I hate people that come up and try to sell me shit whilst I'm eating I hate people that fucking call me when I'm eating like if my mom calls me when I'm eating I'm saying Mitte middan <laughs> basically means in the middle of dinner and she knows to hang up and call back later uh, Because I hate being interrupted when I'm eating. I'm like a dog. I'm like Don't get close to my bowl <laughs> Kind of I don't know <laughs> so, so, Something like that, but um I actually bought the uh, sunglass from one of them uh, right when we entered the beach area so this is like 500 meters from the restaurant so the others of course didn't see me or or they didn't know I already bought sunglasses but like literally everyone was sitting with the sunglasses on their faces and they were still trying to sell us sunglasses and stuff holy shit this is not going well I mean, shit, the, the Kraken, Kraken is the only really good thing. I mean, we hardly have gotten any roses or Beretta's or Fumas's or anything. This is... I mean, shit, if I don't get a knife, I'm gonna be pissed off. This is fucking bad. Holy shit, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to end up giving away the sword off. I thought I would get something better. Let's, let's try and be a little bit random with the, with the crate we actually picked now. 
Or maybe I should stick to picking the same crate as the key. Yeah, the number one. Yeah, let's do that. I think that might be better for the stats track. I mean, it's nice with stats track, but really, when, when you spend 250 euros, you want something better than the fucking Kraken. Like I said, it's better to just buy the stuff you want. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Come on. Holy shit. That is so bad. Getting sad face on oh, other magma. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh man. I'm probably never gonna get a, a knife. Even if I bought like a thousand cases, I probably wouldn't get a knife anyways. Maybe like a red line and Asimov and maybe a Kraken, but nothing else really. Having serious bad luck here. Oh, we're getting I think I have more Great. Oh no, wait, I actually have more keys. That's why, that's why. Okay, never mind, never mind. We're about halfway through now. I, I don't think we have used up that many. Maybe we, we got like, maybe we used up 40 or, or 50 or 60 now. Oh, that's a lot of nice stuff that just passed by. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes! Nice, at least something with a little bit more value. That's at least worth a little bit, but no one really uses that. I missed the MP5. The MP5 was such a nice, uh, not carbine, but what are they called? SMD. It was such a nice SMD in Counter-Strike 1.6. I don't know if it was in Source. Never played Source, really. I think I bought it, but I never really got into it because it was too much... It was too much different from 1.6, I believe. So I never really got into it. I played like one or two hours and then I was like, ah, fuck that. Not worth it. Ooh, Mehindi. Nice. That's actually quite nice. Sweet. Now we actually got some good weapons. A Mehindi and a Kraken. 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 Kra Kraken. Kraken, you would say in Swedish. Not Kraken. Or maybe you say Kraken. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I've heard, heard anyone say it in Swedish. What? Aktari för Kraken. Ah, I don't know. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> oh, stack track, Galil. Ah. At least it's stats track. Better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of sh uh, crates left. Or at least a little bit more than 20. <laughs> I, I would fucking laugh at. Ooh, nice. Pulse. That's at least worth something. That's semi rare, at least. Pr I like the look of it, too. Even though it looks kind of girly, it, it still looks really sweet. I like that it's like really colorful. Ooh, no. Galil. Damn it. You can see it's really worn too, look at that, ugh. E. you can see that. You can actually see what kind of a state they're in as well when you get them. Because you can see it's really worn and, and like brown and stuff. This this looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, look at it. Just a little bit worn. Or actually it might, yeah, it, it's worn. It's not factory new or, or field tested only. Or oh, there was something red passing by. Oh, Guardian. Oh, crap. I was close. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm just opening and opening and opening and opening here. Nothing's happening. Can I get something nice, please? I wish I wish you could, like, turn off this almost when when, when there's something bad to come. Oh, there was a Kraken that passed by, I think. Nope. Galil. Assault rifle. But it's Assault Drive AR. I guess, I guess a, a, a weapon can be an AR even if it's semi-automatic. Or fully automatic. It, maybe that doesn't matter. There we go. I'm getting close to the, the last of the keys that I bought the last. I, did, I couldn't figure out first how the hell I bought more keys when I didn't need more keys. <laughs> then I realized that, oh yeah, if I go home I can buy as many keys as I want. Even if I have keys already. Come on, baby. Red line passed by. Nope, nothing. But yeah, Las Palmas, really fucking great place. And also, uh, the day when we get uh, went to the beach, the waves were so high. And we went to uh, something, I guess you could, I guess it's called Udde in Swedish. Uh, it was basically the, like, where two, two waves met. It's, it's like a... Oh man, I can't even explain. Oh yeah, we're down to like the last less than 10, 10 boxes now. <laughs> this is not <laughs> this is nuts. 101 boxes and nothing really spe spectacular. 
I need another snooze. I'm getting sad. Oh, an off red line. Pass by. <laughs> At least fun to see them. <laughs> I already got one, but I mean, shit, I would like to at least get one more now, opening these many cases. But I guess this was money thrown in the sea again. Oh, hopefully at least it makes for good video. Come on, baby. Open up. Open up. Oh, no, magma. Damn it. No, but uh, swimming in the ocean was so nice. I never actually swum in a real saltwater ocean. I swum in what's called Storsjön. Oh, no, no, not Storsjön. Östersjön. Oh, Asimov! Nice! It looks worn, though. Not that bad. It might only be... No, it, I think it's more worn than field tested, but that's sweet. Nice. Now we got a Mehindi, Asimov... Asimov and a Kraken, so that, that's not too bad. It's starting to look a little bit better. I mean, uh, I don't know exactly what that's worth, but again, like, it's better just to buy stuff, to be honest. I mean, shit, even if I get a knife now, I mean, it's hardly like I would even make any money of it selling it. As especially now if I'm gonna give uh, one or two of these things away. Even if I would get a knife, it, it would still be a, be a loss, but uh, hopefully it makes for a good video. But yeah, I've never swum in the ocean before, so so like swallowing or getting water in your mouth that tastes salty was so weird. And also trying to dive was really difficult. Like, I, w I'm, I mean, I'm a fat guy, so I'm kind of buoyant anyways, but in Sweden or in a pool, like in, in, in a sea, in the sea in Sweden, or, or in, um, in a lake in Sweden, or in a pool in Sweden, you're used to just being able to like hold your breath, then let a little bit of air out right before you dive, and then you can stay under pretty for a pretty long time. But I had to really struggle. Ooh, a rose. Nice. At least that's something. Decent, decently nice weapon. Uh, but yeah, it was so damn difficult to actually dive and be under. The only thing I really wish we would have done is go on a diving trip and like see some cor coral reefs and stuff. But I don't know if they have that over at uh, the Canary Islands. I don't think there's any coral reefs there because... Ooh, Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. Fucking sweet. Nice. Now we're actually getting some good stuff here. Fucking hell. So we got... Uh, four out of basically... Five really nice stuff, or or four out of six, I would should say, because knife we have not seen any. That kind of stinks a little bit, but yeah, yeah. what the hell? What the hell? Ah, oh, Strax, that's track. Carnian, that was pretty sweet though. Now I actually have an M4A1, that's nice, not, not just an M4A4. I like that. No, but uh, overall, oh, stats track. Oh man. Almost two away though. Dang it. <laughs> Here we go with six. Lost seven boxes now. Lost seven boxes. Oh, Guardians. Oh, Sandstorm. <laughs> God damn it. Shine of a gun. Shine of a gun. Those I can't even use a contract on. God dig it. I think I'm gonna open up the, the sticker as well. Oh, Asimov. Oh, Mehindi stats track as well. That would have been almost better. It's a little bit worn, but I mean, shit. That's, that's still... I think that's almost as good shape as the other one. That's nice, okay. Now I don't feel as... as... tricked here. Now at least we got some nice stuff to give away. Ah, oh, man, damn it. Four... five more cases. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, shit. Ah, uh, Berettas. I mean, that's better than nothing. Shit. It's not good, but definitely better than nothing. Let's see, open that up. Ah, oh, 5-7, Kami. Damn it. I can really tell what it's gonna stop on. Or, or stay on, or whatever. Oh, that was not a crack in there. Nothing good here, though. Just magma. Magma bullshit. Continue. Okay. Down to our last two boxes here. Asimov. Mahindi, nope. Ugh, nothing more good here. I mean, shit, if I get a knife out of this one, I mean, holy heck, that would be, that would be so weird. Ooh, Asimov op. Ugh, Guardian. Bullshit, crap, Redline op. Oh, Redline NK. 
Actually, let's open this guy up. Let's see, buy two of them. Authorize, I got seven euros left. There we go, see if we get any nice stickers. Lucky skill, fully. Oh, actually a pretty nice sticker. Shit. Got lucky on the sticker. Fearsome. Let's open this up too. Not gonna be a nice one. Lemon squeezy. Ah yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ah, I guess that's okay. Got some nice stickers too. Okay, so uh, all weapons acquired quality. So here we go. Three Asim uh, two Asimovs. One Kraken. Ooh, two. Did I get two Guardians? Or did I have one since before? Might have gotten two. And a Mahindi. So that, that wasn't. That wasn't the greatest, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, I don't even have enough to trade. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can trade if I trade away the FAMAS pulls, but don't really want to trade that away. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do the contracts here actually on these guys because I can't bother with selling them all to be honest. It's too, too much of a pain. So, uh, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking like what the hell, can't I actually add more? I should be able to. I'm gonna make one more nice weapon. I think I got uh, enough for that. Signature. <laughs> Let's, let's draw a better signature, for God's sakes. Ah, Guardian. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see. Open contract. I don't think I have anything more to exchange now. Nope. There we go. Okay, so let's check out all the weapons and quality. There we go. So I got uh, three Guardians. Holy shit. One Mehindi uh, and two Asimov and a Kraken. So... That's that's what 250 euros give you. Fuck me, that that takes me like five days to make. Holy shit! <laughs> but anyways, like I said, make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and share the video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, then I'm gonna pick a couple of winners. I think uh, I think I'm gonna pick three. And then uh, whoever I pick first gets to pick the first weapon uh, out of the Asimovs and the Guardians and the Mehindi. I think I want to keep the Kraken for myself though. I'm sorry for being a little bit selfish, but I, f I feel like I want to have one one specific weapon that is like rare left for me myself. But uh, that means number one and two can pick an Asimov if they want to and then a Guardian or a Mehindi for, for the third guy. Or depending if you want one of the other guys more, but I think these are worth Worth the most, so I'm guessing the two two first guys I pick are gonna pick the M4 M M uh, Asimov. Fuck it. Anyways, as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.